What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Last Phoenix. I'm back at it again. Coming back with this NBA talk now, though, man. Um, just finished watching. Well, current, currently the Golden State game is on right now. I've got this damn TV on in the background. I got to ignore it, but um, Golden State game is on right now versus the Nuggets. I'm going to check, check everything on that. I was just watching the Bulls game, Bulls versus the Bucks. Yeah, um, the Bulls are definitely going to take a smooth gentleman sweep. It kind of is what it is. And we was expecting it, man. I mean, the Bucks are just a better team. Um, I said it before, they're probably one of the best overall teams. So we're going to see how they can fare in, in the rest of the league because they actually did lose their star shooting guard slash small forward and uh, Chris Middleton from uh, MCL tear. So we'll, we'll see how that goes, man. Um, but right now, yeah, but yeah, the, the the Bulls are finished. Um, I, I haven't really checked the Golden State game yet or the scores for it. Uh, without even checking, though, I'm thinking that the Nuggets are pretty much mentally defeated right now. So I'm gonna go off and just say, go off a limb and just say, uh, Golden Golden State is going to finish them off. Golden State is going to finish the Nuggets off. I do think that Jokic will have a big game, but I just don't feel like it's going to be enough. But, um, yeah, man. So, I think they're taking a smooth sweep. Um, take out them brooms. Uh, who, who else is on tonight, man? I want to say, uh, somebody else is on. I think Minnesota played last night. But we, we can talk about all the teams, to be honest, man. Minnesota and, um, Minnesota and Memphis. Man, that, this has actually been a pretty good series. Uh, here we go, excuse me. Even though Memphis won last night, um, John Morant has to play better. I understand he's, I don't know if he's trying to go, like, go for triple doubles after getting that first career triple double or what, but the way he played last night was kind of, kind of shaky to me, you know, but that's, that's just me, though. That's just me. Uh, Desmond Bain was turned up early. Didn't really shoot much in the, in the, later in the game for some odd reason, but he, he was hot in the first quarter. He was hooping. Uh, Carl Anthony Towns, uh, he, he played he played fairly well. He came out intense. It was a scare in the middle of that game, too, man. I thought Anthony Edwards got injured. I thought he was going to be done. And I was like, oh, yeah, these guys don't stand a chance now. But he came back in, played the rest of the game. So, yeah, man, but I, I think I think this series is going to also be a gentleman's sweep. I don't, think the, I don't think Minnesota will win another game. You know, it's what it is, man. Uh, who, who else, man? Who else? Who else? Who else? Suns Pelicans. Suns Pelicans. Uh, Suns took the last game. I believe they have a game tonight. It's just gonna be. It's gonna be fun to watch. Uh, Brandon Ingram and CJ McCullough, man. Honestly, man, if any guy, if any of you guys are betting on parlays, man. Yo, yeah. Hey, bet, bet, bet that over on. Bet that over on one point five. For uh, Brandon Ingram and whatever whatever that uh over is for CJ McCollum. I, th I think they're both gonna have have big games from three tonight. Will they win? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how the Suns are gonna continue to fare without Devin Booker. This puts a lot more um, pressure on Chris Paul. So, with that being said, I think this game is actually a toss up. I'm gonna say Pelicans take that game tonight. Um, that is that is the the late game, the ten o'clock game, I believe. I think Pelicans are taking that game tonight. Um, Miami and Atlanta. Man, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real, man. Miami has had Trey Young on Smash. I mean, they took they took that that little win yesterday. So I mean, I think they're gonna take a gentleman sweep instead of just getting swept. But um, we're gonna see we're gonna see what happens, man. Hopefully, <sighs> my bad, yo. Hopefully, uh, Bogdan Bogdanovich, he can turn up, man. That guy has been a problem. He's he's been a real deal, man, for real. And uh, yo, they're not even letting me bet for this dude to, for threes, man. I don't know what it is, man. They always do that. But anyway, yeah, man. Um, if if he can, if he can have a big game, then I can see. I can see. Um, if if Trey Young can have a decent game too, man. If he can put up 20, 20 plus and ten. 
and, and Bogdanovich can put up 20 points. Maybe Danilo Gallinari give him 15, a smooth 15. Kevin Herter give him a smooth 11, 12. You know, uh, Hunter, maybe give him a 10, 11 points. Maybe even Jason Collins throwing eight points. Listen, these guys, these guys will be all right, man. I think they can make something happen. They got to play some defense, too. That's the thing. They, got, they do have to play defense because defense is is vital. And they got they got some they got some bucket getters on uh, on, on the Miami Heat. And they got that one shooter, man. Matter of fact, they got two shooters. Let me not say that one shooter. And I'm not even talking about I'm not even talking about Duncan Robinson. Duncan, Duncan Robinson is that shooter on that team. But they got this one shooter, though. I think his name is like uh, Max Strauss, 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 something like that. Boy got a gun on him. He got he got he got the ratchet on him. It was crazy. So he, and he's he's been let he's been letting it go. He, he been he been he been letting it rip, y'all. So I'm probably gonna bet on him to hit a couple threes tonight too, to be honest. But uh, who else, man? But yeah, I got Miami. <laughs> I know Miami winning that game. Philly and Toronto, man. I don't know what's going on with them. I have mixed feelings about them. They're starting to play like some suckers right now. Uh, I don't know what's going on with Joel Embiid. I know he's, I know he's hurt, but he's got to play through that, man. It's just a thumb injury. We've seen players like Kobe play through the, play through these things, man. But he's not even being aggressive. He's looking for calls. Like he's, he's not even, he's not even, he's not even looking for the bucket. He's looking for calls, man. It's, it's getting kind of sad at this point. And B just got to play powerful, play like play like the best player in the league, like like he has been. Or at least the top two, man, because him and him and him and Joker are definitely the best players in the league. I'll probably put Giannis right there too, but uh, he just got to play better. James Harden has to play better. Maxi started out hot, but he's starting to taper off a little bit. Tobias Harris, he's, he's kind of doing what we expect him to do. He's playing okay, but we need we need all four of those guys to really come out guns blazing so we're gonna see what happens man toronto has got a lot of fight left i, I seen that they lost fred van vliet i don't know i don't know what's going on with that i don't know what's going on with that so we're gonna see what happens we're gonna see how they fare without fred van vliet that's gonna put a lot a lot more pressure on siakam barnes who just came back from his injury uh gary trent jr he's been shooting pretty well i mean hey, if you guys are gonna bet <laughs> Bet, bet on a parlay, man. Bet, bet, bet for that guy to hit two plus threes, man, you know? Just so y'all know, this is not financial advice because I ain't gonna lie to you, I ain't been winning shit. I've been getting cheated. Anyway, not the, not the hero there. Um, who else? Am I missing somebody? Yeah, Dallas and Utah. Dallas and Utah. This, this has been a, a crazy series to me, man. Very crazy series. Dallas is about to take a gentleman's sweep. <laughs> like, Dallas is about to take a gentleman's sweep, and I would have never thought of that. But to be fair, these guys got to try to get Rudy Gobert involved. Oh, I'll take that back. No, no, no. Is it is it 1-1 one, one now, or is it 2-1? No, no, no. I'm tripping. I think they won the last game because Rudy Gobert had a game winner, a game winner with the assist from uh, Donovan Mitchell. So it's not, I mean, we're we going to see what happens, man. They got Luka back. I think Luka might possibly be back to his regular minutes tomorrow. Dangerous for the league. But I will say this. Dallas is vulnerable. They're vulnerable right now. If Spencer Dinwiddie and Brunson cannot figure out how to play with Luka on the floor, they might be in trouble. I mean, they can't leave the game for Luka to just take over. Because it might not happen the way they think. I mean, I think most teams will leave Luka. We'll, we'll let Luka take take them three point shots or whatever. You know, so yeah, man. That's my thoughts on it, man. Um, I'm not gonna go on a parlay rant. Because honestly, at this at this time, this stuff has became uh, these NBA players are too unpredictable to be honest. Oh yeah, Boston Nets. Yeah, Nets are finished, yo. I don't know. This, this is a bad look. And y'all, y'all comment down below, man. Y'all think? Do y'all think this this situation is worse than the LeBron meltdown? Y'all, y'all, y'all definitely comment below on that. Uh, cause it's really tough to say, man. Because at, at the end of the day, man, this. This Boston team is so defensively 
great. But anyway, man, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Like my stuff, man. Comment down below. Make sure y'all can see my finger. Boom. I don't know what side it's on. I'm gonna get my editing up so I can uh, point to point to you know my little subscribing bell. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.